So, sports pundit Gary Lineker has plunged Britain into yet another culture war. Whether you hashtag stand with Gary or think the BBC was absolutely right to suspend the match of the day presenter for his inflammatory tweet has become the question of the day. Here's a reminder of the offending remarks. There is no huge influx. We take far fewer refugees than other major European countries. This is just an immeasurably cruel policy directed at the most vulnerable people in language that is not dissimilar to that used by Germany in the 30s. And I'm out of order. That's what he had to say. So, as a result of this historically illiterate, perhaps, and rather offensive tweet, all hell has broken loose. Mass boycotts have left the BBC's sports programming in tatters. Sporting legends Ian Wright and Alan Shearer have pledged their allegiance to the MOTD host, refusing to take part on the show. Mark Chapman, Colin Murray, Alex Scott, Kelly Summers and Jason Mohammed are also on strike. Fans of Football Focus and Final Score have been left with repeats of Bargain Hunt and The Repair Shop. Even Fatboy Slim took the opportunity last night to beam Gary's face on stage to his adoring fans like some kind of memorial. As a result, Match of the Day will now be aired with no presenters, no pundits and no commentators. It's a bit of a farce. I think it would have been rather nice, actually, for Lineker to encourage a lesser-known pundit to take the reins. What an opportunity! Instead, he's reportedly been left in tears, overwhelmed by all the support he's received from his fellow football pundits. So... You're either on Gary Lineker's side or you're not. It's highly likely that anyone who dared to put themselves forward to present the show tonight would be hounded out by the industry, shamed and ridiculed. Who would want that? There are a few things here for me, though. Firstly, was drawing parallels to language used in Nazi Germany in the 30s historically illiterate and, if so, offensive enough to warrant his suspension? Two, is this a freedom of speech issue or is this a simple story of man breaks contract and faces the repercussions? Three, if he's technically a freelancer, should it matter what he tweets? Or does the fact he's practically the face of the BBC and owes his 8.6 million strong following largely to the broadcaster change this? The BBC's guidelines certainly think so. Fourthly, where does the BBC go from here? Clearly, they're failing to apply their impartiality guidelines fairly. If Gary is suspended, should Alan Sugar, for example, be suspended too for coming out against strike action? So, in my view, it comes down to this. The BBC needs to decide what impartiality means and apply their rules equally, even-handedly and without favour. Oh, and a final thought. What happens if the match of the day is unaffected by the absence of Lineker and friends? Say the viewing figures remain unchanged or don't fall dramatically tonight. Would the BBC reconsider the six and seven figure salaries they dish out and ponder whether they are value for taxpayer money?